All right, so Gemini, I've already shuffled and laid your cards. Um, so let's start your reading. And of course, this is your general love reading for November. All right, so Gemini. Hmm. You're showing up as the page which talks about, you know, just kind of being besotted. I'm going to use the word besotted because that's what it is. It's this puppy love, this this crush, you know, this these butterflies that are just kind of bubbling, well, you know, rose-coloured tinted glasses, let's say that. And it's not directed at this person, whoever this is showing up. This is someone that is um, that you've got some form of relationship with, but it's not in regards to this person. It's in regards to someone else that's grabbed your attention or that's, within your vicinity, uh, Gemini, someone that you have started to form this emotional connection with. And it kind of started in the past because we do have this magician card here, which talks about having all the tools in the box to make something happen. It also talks about manipulation as well. And I say manipulation because we have that three of cups there right beside it. So this person you have been you know, this other person who you're kind of, you know, who you're feeling this way about, you've, I'm not sure whether they have come through your work situation or you've met them in some form of social environment, um, but they've definitely taken your fancy and you've been communicating, spending time with them in some way, shape or form. At the same time, you've still got this situation over here with this, with this person um, hence why that magician is coming up. It's like trying to manage that, trying to, yeah, kind of manage that and not this, let this person find out ultimately. And this person has the moon card there. So they, they, they kind of were sensing something was going on, but they can't, they, they couldn't put their, they couldn't put their finger on it. It's like they couldn't pinpoint what the problem was. The moon represents a lack of clarity around something not able to see something fully so there was that although at the same time we do have them with that emotional fulfillment there so definitely an established relationship here with someone that they feel have you know them them being kind of emotionally fulfilled by but they do sense or did sense that something wasn't right something's going on behind the scenes that they can't quite put their finger on which is why they're showing up as the chariot this back and forth. This person is going back and forth. One minute they think, okay, no, all is well. You know, of course, my my Gemini um, wouldn't do such a thing. Um, but then next minute they think, no, but that doesn't seem right or that's not fitting. That doesn't make sense. It's this back and forth, hot and cold, on and off type of thing. Not able to rest on one way of thinking. This person's in love. There's definitely love here on their end. Like I said, it kind of goes back to this emotional fulfillment. There is love on this, you know, when it comes to this person um, and, and you. And they're wanting to continue that because there is a pull that you have, that they have towards you with that, with that page of cups there. But like I said, at the same time, you, you kind of a stamp that was gonna flick out. What was that? That was the, yeah, do you see that? Long-term, they, they, put on there, perfect. Yeah, offering of love, this person's, I feel like this person's already, it's not even offering, this person's, you know, wanting to offer more because they want it long term with that six of cups. At the same time, you've established, you're starting to establish this emotional connection. I'm going to pull on that as well uh, with this other person. And it's like you're trying to maintain it. You're trying to stay on top of things with that five. It's proven to be a bit challenging for you, but it's like, and I'm going to be honest here, and I feel like you kind of know anyway, your position in this three of cups set up, if I can pick that up, you kind of hold the dominant position and it's like you're in the center of these two people and you're definitely fully aware of that, you know, wanting to release that as well. It's like, no, I don't know. No, I'm not going to say that. I don't feel like it's entitlement. I don't feel like you feel it's in you're entitled, but I kind of get that energy, if I'm honest with you. I'm kind of getting a sense of that coming through. A choice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there is this awareness, though, that, that eventually there's going to be a choice. I, do you know what? If I was honest with you, um, Gemini, I was kind of moving down in the road of, is this person, I would, would have clarified these cards as well. Is this person wanting, an, uh, is my Gemini wanting some form of, 
polyan is it poly polyamory or polygamy or this type of relationship um but then that too that two of pentacles pops out so there is definitely an awareness of a choice um or maybe that's you thinking that you're trying that you know you're, you're being forced to make a choice um but i feel like that's you knowing that you need to make a choice and you do you want to make a choice about these two people you're not ready yet you've not gotten the insight to know what to do but you're wanting to advance and we do have that page this person whoever this is not this person they've caught your eye i'm not sure what caused you to put yourself in a situation to allow this person to catch your eye <laughs> if that makes sense because i believe you know and you know you can prevent these situations from from bubbling up into full-blown situationships so the question is is how important is this person to you gemini that's the question how important is what you've established with this person um and if and if they are no longer meeting your needs in that way and you've spoken about it or whatever the case may be then you communicate that you, you you're, you're in this mix of and that's why i feel like i guess this entitlement feeling is coming up for me i'm, I'm clear sentence i feel um yeah there's something around entitlement maybe that's where it's coming from it's entitlement but your person you're kind of sending them into this tailspin of not knowing what to think not knowing how to think you know we got the ace of of swords there and we got the seven so this person is not looking to give up on this and i feel like it's because they yeah i'm gonna pull on that though they just don't know what they're giving up on if that makes sense it's like they're not privy to what you're up to but they do know they want to come out of this space where they're just trapped mentally they can't get if it's like they can't put their finger on it and it just keeps coming up for them it's like i can't this and be, they're being played by by thoughts you know trapped by their thoughts i wanted to pull on that page yeah six yeah this person six is kind of giving wanting to give to this so yeah yeah they don't know what's going on for you you need to make a choice and then you do have the page and the knight so that's quite interesting the page and the knight the knight is talking about you know excitement desire it's not a stable card though it's not a stable card though so i'm gonna do something give me a second yeah something's changed for you when it comes to this person's taken up your focus they've gotten your focus we've gotten to a point where you've spent enough time with them for them to grab your focus so you're starting to you want an epiphany a realization around what to do ultimately when it comes to this person this person this situation ultimately you're aware that things are going to change and that you could possibly be entering into that eight of 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 swords there but possibly i still feel like because that's just one card kind of overseeing um overseeing this but we have that knight there i don't feel like you're looking to rush and make that choice right away because of that knight of um wands there oh okay all right so that shifts it okay all right that changes it um so you can there's a lot of passion of desire but yeah you are you wanted to create something you want an opportunity to create something new you've got that page of of wands sorry the page of swords again it talks about um you know realization epiphany wake up court but we also have that high priestess as well high priestess which is a committed commit committal card commitment it talks about commitment um yeah so who are you going to choose this is a choice and i suggest or i would advise you gemini to think about this yeah think about this i'm going to say long and hard because you might be leaving something all that glitters is not gold and i'm going to say that again before i wrap this up all that glitters is not gold so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity 
for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles next week, guys. Very exciting to look out for that. Other than that, have a beautiful... Oh, so, oh also, you know, write a comment, guys. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on the readings, whether it resonates, whether it doesn't. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.